All right, what's up everyone? Sean here and I'm back with more Amiibos to look at here and review, unbox, all that fun stuff. Uh, this time around we got King K. Rule, we got Piranha Plant and Ice Climbers over there under that huge glare, but did my best to uh, kind of try to work with, work around, uh, around that. But yeah, you know, these three are here. Uh, this, these are the February Amiibos, I guess you can call them. Uh, next ones are, you know, coming in April, which is awesome. But anyways, we're gonna be talking about King K. Roll, Piranha Plant, and Ice Climber. So, um, uh, they're already looking awesome. Uh, loving these newer Amiibos. They're still, you know, $15.99, sure, which is a little more expensive than before, but it justifies because it has more details. You just got more to it, you know what I mean? So, let's, uh, let's take a good, uh, close look at them as we unbox them one by one, and here we go. So, uh, we're gonna go actually with uh, Ice Climbers first. And that was the something to help uh, prop it up a little bit so the glare can move to the side a little bit because it's just one big shining light over this ice climbers. So I noticed that this is definitely, before I go any further, a Japanese version. But meanwhile, interesting enough, King K. Roll and Piranha Plant are kind of like the worldwide version which is weird because you got English, Japanese, and I'm not sure what that one is. Is this, this is like French, is it Spanish or something? I'm not too sure. But this is just straight up the Japanese version, I think. Let's look at, take a look at the back here because this, this in terms of text and stuff are pretty identical. So it's hard to tell from looking at the back, but looking at the corner, well, probably a different story, which is what I'm referring here. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. They're Amiibos. They work on all systems anyway, so it's just a minor complaint. I always expect to see the US version, but I think, you know, it's probably pointless at this at this time. So it may just, may just make a uh, worldwide version, which to me makes sense. But if anyone wants to be super exclusive or whatever with their regions, then I guess might be a complaint. But here we go. Sorry to uh, kind of work around the camera here as I open this. And let's get the plastic off. Okay. Here we go. That was the unboxing. And now we can take a look at ice climbers here what and i gotta say they're pretty good um loving the detail on their the uh their coats their jackets the the boots and everything their, or their snow ice shoes the hammer they got a lot of like little grains in there of like wood to simulate that that kind of look let me uh let me manually focus that sorry about that looking real good i do like the ice effect in the background a little like on the yeah, in the background, in the foreground, got the two, of course. I figured I forget their names. I'm not huge fans of the ice climbers, but it is just nice to see them, you know, in a in amiibo now. Everyone's back, so you know, everyone has needs to have their own amiibo, I guess. I wonder if Chrom is gonna get his own amiibo, but we'll see about that, because that means you gotta get the Fire Emblem version, and I don't even know if they're producing that anymore. Maybe they will. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. Taking a good look around them. Now, these are simplified characters. They're stylish, you know, they're cartoonish. So, not gonna see a whole lot more detail other than their their coats, their hammers, little bits of their outfit, you know, like shoes and stuff like that, and the ice. Um, I feel like, you know, it would be nice to see back sort of like a background effect around more Smash characters. Um, I know um, Ridley had something like that himself. You know, there was some sort of like shockwave effect around him. Stuff like that, you know, just to justify more of that, you know, price tag, you know, $15.99 is a little more hefty. If you're gonna buy, you know, every single Smash Amiibo, at least, like me. Just so, yeah, you know, it's nice to see stuff like this. It just, it really adds more reason to, you know, get these things, to collect them and have them on your shelf. So anyway, Ice Climbers, looking good. I would say looking great. So not a whole lot to say but they're good looking. 
I must say, to, uh, to add to your collection. So now we're gonna go into the piranha plant next. I'm already really liking this one. Let's open this baby up. Let me try to keep it in camera more. I do like Piranha Plant as a character in Smash. Not the, not the character, he's pretty much the character that no one wanted, but everyone likes. It's a weird way to say, but it is true. You know, Piranha Plant is very iconic as an enemy in Mario. And um, he, he works great as a Smash character. Never ever thought that Piranha Plant would ever make it into Smash. But here he is as a Smash amiibo he, and as a uh, playable character in Smash Ultimate, which is really funny to me. All right, let's get this baby out of the plastic. And oh man, yeah, it's very you know, nice and hefty. Got some weight to it. That means, you know, they definitely put a good amount of mater uh, material in this. Um, the shape and everything, the colors, looking really good for Piranha Plant. Again, this is another very simplified character. Um, there's a reason why I'm saving King, King K. Roll last, but he does have a, a pretty good amount of detail. They actually put, uh, I'll do like a close-up shot later, but they did, they, they um, put some detail into the, the little soil there, which is really nice, into the pot. They actually put some detail in the pot itself too, which is actually kind of cool. I wonder if it's like ver like a varying pattern for each, you know, figure for, of a uh, piranha plant, but it could be the same exact pattern. But anyway, this is kind of like, it kind of has some imperfections to it, but I think it does, add more add uh, more to that like realism of like a real pot you know it could be like one of those like cardboard pot, pots that you have like at, for your plants or something the cheaper pots you know or it could be an actual pot made of like clay or ceramic or something like that um but this pot over here looks looking real good again i'll do a close-up shot of it uh hopefully in post but um again he looks really good looking great and um I love like the inside, of the, the tongue is like nice and got that nice little gliss to it. But the head has a, you know, nice matte finish, finish to it. Fingerprints aren't gonna show up too much. I love, again, the colors are good looking good. The greens, the reds, nice white color to it too. Um, it's a really great Nintendo, like a Super Mario figure that you wanna collect, you know, for your little, um, little display or whatever. Great, great addition um, for a character that, again, no one wanted, but everyone likes anyway. So, Piranha Plan, who would have thought, right? Now he has a freaking official Amiibo for $15.99. Looking really great, too. I love the pose and everything. You know, you get to get, get a good look at him now. See how he is. I wish they could kind of somehow were able to show you, like, the little feet. But, you know, his initial, his uh, default pose doesn't allow you to do that so you know that's how it is but um anyway that's that's a piranha plant looking looking good and um <laughs> i would have never thought i would get a piranha plant amiibo but here i am once again you know anyway let's put this guy down and uh we'll uh, bring out the best for last so this is a character that uh meanwhile i'm trying to put this lens cap somewhere that doesn't dangle in the way, but what's that to let it rock, I guess. So anyway, um, sorry about that. We're gonna have the the best one for last. Here he is, the king himself, King K. Rule, or King Cruel, if you're if you get the pun. Anyway, um, probably by far the best one, in my opinion. Uh, but let's see about that once we get a closer look at him. So let's unbox this guy, get him out of here. Free him so he can possibly bring his evil reign to my little shelf over, over there in the, by my bed. But anyway, let's uh, get him out of the box. Definitely pretty heavy amiibo. Probably the heaviest one of the bunch for uh, this video. But we'll see once we get this plastic off. Just want to be gentle with him. Oh man, he's like pointing his finger at me. It's kind of off-putting, kind of unsettling, I'd say. But anyway, enough about that. Let's uh, try to get this camera to focus. Meanwhile, I uh, take a good look at him. And uh, my goodness, 
Expression is on point. I love the, uh, you know, the fingers and stuff like that. Definitely, um, you know, got the got the finger point. The detailing on his scales look pretty good. Um, they definitely put put detail into his scales. Um, the gold shine on his like belly armor looks on point. Got that nice amount of like highlights and shine and stuff like that. Really cool. There we go. There's a camera kind of focus there. And um, again, his expression, his crown and everything, they got everything on him right. Oh, and man, he even, I didn't even see this now. So like the detail on the, the cape, I will do a close up, I promise. But the detail on his cape looks awesome. I love the color to it. It does look a little different on the camera. Um, the camera gives off a little, a bit of a bluish hue, but I promise you this is a great red on him as you look at it in real life. Really, really good looking uh, cape, like the little jewel right there on his, you know, that he has on his mantle or whatever cape. Um, everything is, it, everything is there. Um, I noticed that he has a really stubby tail, which is funny. Probably true to his uh, character, but anyway. Yeah, I, I didn't never realize, I never really thought about that, that uh, King Curry Roll had a really small tail or no tail at all even. Kind of reminds me of like a corgi or something, <laughs> like you know, one of those dogs with the really short tails or something. But anyway, pretty much, uh, you know, once again, he's a cartoony character, so uh, not as difficult to pull off, but still, you know, it is nice to see him, um, you know, that they put effort into him. And love, again, I love the detail. Uh, probably the color could have been, the like, actual green itself could have been a little bit of a different color. This one's a little darker if you compare it to like the artwork right here. A little lighter. So maybe a tint, like a little bit lighter would have been nice. It would have been uh, a perfect King K. Roll, you know, little figure. But all in all, great detail. Everything else looks great. The cape and everything, you know, it's a decent color still, no less. Um, it's King K. Roll. I mean, if you love the DK series, um, if you love King K. Roll, this is definitely something to pick up. And, uh, oh yeah, he's got a little stand right here, so, you know, a little more balance. Right here, a little, little, little support for his little, uh, leg right there. His leg, his stubby little legs. He is pretty stubby in the game, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, funny. But anyway, oh man, that eye, that senior eye, they definitely got that down. They got the little, the veins and everything. But, yeah. Anyways, all in all, all these three figures that they come out for this wave, I guess you can call it, are great. Uh, Ice Climbers, Piranha Plant, and King K. Rool himself look awesome as Amiibos. Um, yeah, you know, nice little return of the Ice Climbers. Piranha Plant never thought of he would come in. And King K. Rool, you know, people wanted him for, you know, a long while. People want you know DK characters as um, along with other characters that aren't still that haven't made it in there. But anyway, these three amiibos look great. Um, you can pick it up uh, as soon as you see them on on the shelves or whatever. Um, I would definitely recommend them uh, you know to anyone that loves Nintendo, uh, anyone who loves the respective series. You know Super Mario, Donkey Kong, or Ice Climbers. Um, they look great on your shelves. Good size too, very good size for the price, you know, and, and of course the amount of details and stuff like that. They love the colors overall. You know, even, even if I did complain about King K. Roll, he does have good colors uh, overall though, despite what I said. Um, could have been could have been a different color, maybe a little lighter, but again, in, in, anyway. Still great color uh, selection, great color palettes, whatever. And just great figures. They just look great. And the price is unbeatable. Um, still, even with the increase, it just only it'll only look better. So yeah, um, that's uh, pretty much it for these three amiibos with King K. Rule, Prana Plant, and Ice Climbers. Uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and all that stuff. You know the drill for YouTube. Um, and also, if you have any comments about these figures, leave, please leave me down below. Uh, you're more than welcome to. I will check them out. And don't forget to hit uh, all the social media stuff in the description below, Twitter and uh, Twitch, all that stuff. And I do have a Loot Crate sponsorship still, so go ahead and uh, hit, hit that up and hit uh, use that 
promo code and all that stuff. And same with Into the AM. Uh, if you want any discounts on those two, uh, you're more than welcome to check, uh, check out the links in the description box and um, get something for yourself while well, I get something out of it too. So, you know, helping each other out. That's all, that's all, that's all um, um, good in the hood. So anyway, uh, this has been my review, unboxing and thoughts, reviews on these three figures with King K. Rule, Prana Plant, and Ice Climbers. Thank you guys so much. I'll uh, be sure to do a, another one for, uh, for Ken, Daisy, and Young Link. I already got those pre-ordered, so I am ready. And uh, so until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Sean out.